Namaste. I am Pia Majumdar and uh, today I am going to make a very tasty dessert shuji ka halwa. In this recipe I have used about 1 cup of shuji, uh, 2 cups of water, an equal amount of uh, water, 2 cups of water, 2 cups of sugar, 1 fourth of a cup of ghee or clarified butter and there would be a teaspoon of cardamom. The first step is I'm going to melt the water with the sugar and uh, put it in the microwave and then as the shuji is cooking it takes a lot of uh, consumes a lot of sugar so I'm just going to put this in my microwave and heat it for few seconds till that dissolves. In the meantime, I'm going to heat my pan and I'm going to fry my shuji. So as uh, my pan is heated on medium high heat, I'm going to add the ghee or the clarified butter. Let it get heated. For two minutes or more. And now I have started to fry my shuji. until it turns golden brown for 5 to 6 minutes. The same process applies for uh, even carrots, gajar ka halwa, or you can take Bengal chana dal, the yellow dal, and just take some ghee and fry it. Mm, over here, I haven't put anything extra. It's just ghee, clarified butter, and I'm going to make this till it is a golden brown color for 5 to 6 minutes. So it's been about 10 minutes and as you can see the you can fry this separately and then add the butter and refry it again for 5 minutes or you can just uh, I mean the ghee the clarified butter or the ghee or as you can see slowly it will be turning its color to a deep brown or a golden brown color. And we are going to and here we have the mixture if you don't want it to burn you can keep adding a little bit water at the bottom and keep stirring the water and sugar mixture and adding it little by little to this mixture Taking everything from the sides. Wow. This looks nice. Beautiful color. The deep brown color has come in it. And you just go in this round manner. Keep going round and round like this till the shuji is taking its pattern 
and add little bit of water and sugar mixture at a time. Wow! Look at that. It's reaching a perfect consistency. in this manner and just add all the water this dish is looking amazing look at the texture it's turning out I put some cashews uh, some cashews you can roast it in some ghee and put it and oil just before the guests come roasted cashews always and I put in some pecans almonds or any nuts that you prefer and the color is nice and rich it's a dark golden brownish color and it's so quick and easy to make this So it's ready in like 10 to 15 minutes. We can just wait for everything to combine together. Wow, this is perfect. And just go in this manner in a round way. until all the water evaporates it's going to take a few more seconds and I'm going to reduce the heat a little bit low put in some little bit more pecans and cashews cashew nuts just till everything comes together now the optional ingredient here is the rose water if you would like to add the rose water but this to me is looking amazing the color has caught it's nice and well fried and as the water evaporates you can see the texture of the shuji is turning out perfect and we can just go in this manner for two more minutes till all the water evaporates and it's ready to serve So once that's ready, I will just pour it in a vessel and it's ready to serve nice and hot for your guests and we can just done in 15 minutes hot shuji halwa I just want to give it a taste because I can't resist this mm. amazing do try this recipe your family is going to love it 
and subscribe on YouTube at Choreography Thank you.